to Ten Sisters TV today. I'm going to start showing you some fun uh, machine applique techniques, and I'm especially I'm especially excited for those of you that have taken my machine applique class before. And so this will be a nice uh, a nice refresher for some of the things we've done in class. But eventually we will cover all these techniques. So if you've never seen this technique before, then keep coming on back, and we're going to show you the whole technique. What I want to show you is a little bit of how we are going to turn some of these edges over. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm taking a piece of freezer paper and I'm taking the shiny side. This is how we use freezer paper in this technique. I, you put the shiny side down and I iron it to my pressing board and this is where I like to work. What we're going to use in this applique technique, instead of freezer paper to cut out our shapes, we use a water-soluble stabilizer and we'll talk about that um, next time in class. But when we create our shape, we are going to, it's going to look just like the freezer paper technique, where we cut out our shape out of the paper. In this case, it's the stabilizer. And we're going to iron it onto our background fabric and then cut out our scant quarter inch seam allowance around the outside. And so what I want to show you is how to turn the edges. We are going to use Elmer's washable school glue stick and I'm using the purple and we want to make sure that we use Elmer's washable school glue sticks because I know that those are a starch based product so they're going to be okay this is going to be rinsed out eventually um, but this is the glue stick I always use and so on top of this freezer paper I am putting a nice generous amount of glue around the outside um, I use these uh, orange sticks or cuticle sticks that you can get um, at the department store or um, beauty supply. And so the thing I want to do is get a nice sharp point. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn that seam allowance over. Now a lot of my students really like using this stick to turn their seam allowances over. And um, I kind of got used to doing it with my fingers, kind of pinching right between my finger and my thumb like this but right now we're going over a hill and so this space right here we're actually easing in this fullness and so you can do that with the stick but what I want you to notice is it's really important that that seam allowance is turned over all the way through it doesn't gradually get smaller that seam allowance is the same size here as it is through the rest of it and then I'm going to bring the iron over and I'm going to heat set this down now, my iron has got some steam coming out of it, but I don't recommend the steam for this part because steam is wet and we want this glue stick to dry. Okay, and so the next part is going to be turning the other side. We put the glue on this other side. Now what's happened is we have turned the seam allowance on this side and we have heat set it and so this edge isn't going to want to turn over quite as easily so what I do is I take this stick and I put a little crease right here that's just that's where I want this to fold so I'm putting a little crease right where I want that to fold and again I like to do this with my hand now the important thing is to make sure that that seam allowance is pressed down exactly the same width again now I'm going to ease this fullness in and I'm going to push this one over ease this fullness in. Now see how I've got a little fold right here? This is a great place to use this stick and you're just going to see how we just smooth that out what you're really wanting to pay attention to is the edge don't worry so much about here because the iron is going to take care of that part and so we want, the, we want that seam allowance to be folded all the way across now notice we have a couple little dog ears sticking out over the edges. I'm going to show you how we take care of that, but first I'm going to heat set. Now the reason that we're heat setting is that it does two things. It's, it is drying the glue, and the other thing that it does is it also crisps up this stabilizer. And so you have a really nice, easy piece to work with. Unlike when freezer paper is under here, it is really, really wobbly and hard to deal with. Okay, after I have folded both seam allowances down, 
Now we need to take care of these dog ears. And so I'm going to put a little dab of glue on these ends. And so what I like to do is I'm just folding that little dog ear right back on itself. And actually, sometimes it's easier to do either with the tip of the iron or with that stick. You can just fold it right back. See how you just fold it right back on itself. Now, if you have ever done any uh, hand needle turn applique, one thing about the points, a point is kind of bulky, if you've noticed on a needle turn applique point. And so I like turning this dog ear back onto itself because after this is sewn down and soaked, then it kind of beefs up that point a little bit. And so you get a really great applique look on your finished product. And now we're going to heat set it. It's still a little bit sticky because of this steam. So you want to heat set that down. Sometimes I'll just turn it over, heat set it on the other side too. And so now you've got these awesome sharp points, which are a really big deal, I think, in preparing applique pieces to have a really nice, really, can you say pointy point? A real nice pointy point. And um, this is just a great way to do it. So keep coming back. We're going to do some more great applique techniques and uh, maybe next time we'll actually start at the beginning so you can kind of see what we're talking about. We want to thank you for coming to class today. Be sure to subscribe to us on this 10 Sisters TV channel and click that like button and thanks for coming to class today.